Hello everyone, wherever you are, I'm sending you a big hug from my beautiful garden here in Qatar, in Doha. As you can see, the pool is empty and it's very meaningful because I'm in the process of also emptying myself, my mind, my emotions, my everything from past beliefs, fears, doubts, all that stuff we all go through in order to make room for the new and step into new awareness, new possibilities. And today I just wanted to share with you a bit more about my story and what brought me here into this place where I can speak as a healer and a spiritual leader. And it has to do in particular with death, the importance of embracing death and how death came to me as the most amazing teacher I've had, the most amazing guru, the biggest blessing and gift in my life and that has allowed me to transform deep wounds into big, bigger learning processes. So I was basically stabbed uh, on the back about nine years ago now. I was in Bogota, Colombia back then and I was just gonna visit a friend one evening near my place. I was cycling and a mugger came out of the blue. I was going through a dark passage and he came up to me. Um, we clashed because I was cycling very fast. He came with a screwdriver and boom, hit me just under my shoulder blade. But because of the adrenaline, everything happened very quickly. I got back on my bike pushed him, ran away, um, and at the moment I could only say to myself, gosh, I hope it's not too deep, because I could see the screwdriver, I could feel his strength piercing against my, my back. I have a, um, <laughs> a nasty scar just under my ribs. I don't want to show my hairy armpits, but... It was quite nasty. The amazing thing was I was saved by two angels, you could say. I ended up in a shop in the middle of nowhere and right there I found a young couple of interns that had just finished their shift in a clinic and they saved me. When they saw me and they saw I was bleeding and I was all over the place and I started to faint. They took me on a cab to their clinic and thanks to them, I got straight into emergency room for an operation that otherwise would have, would, wouldn't have been possible. I would have died on a um, um, respiratory attack, you know, after 20, 30 minutes because my lung had been pierced and it was full of blood and also oxygen from the outside. So you have less and less space to breathe and I was saved. It was a miracle. And after that happened, uh, I reflected, why am I here? Why was I saved? Do I have something to give? What's my purpose? How can I, can I make justice to this event, you know? near-death experience. It can trigger a lot of emotions, maybe um, spite or anger or... But to be honest, at that time, when I was able to breathe normally again, I woke up the next day with a tube stuck between my ribs, um, draining all the blood that, uh, that had gone into my lung. The only thing I could feel was gratitude, infinite gratitude to this gift of being alive and being able to breathe and we just take it for granted but for me after that happened I realized wow this is sacred each breath is sacred it is a gift being able to see to have the opportunity to experience 
life in all its forms, shapes, colors, ups, downs. We are all in this ride, experiencing the sacredness of life, even though we forget, we get stuck in our daily stuff, challenges, stress, work, overwhelm, whatever. But for me, death has become the greatest teacher, greatest blessing in my life. And so I invite you all to embrace death in our lives. Of course, you don't have to go to the extreme of a near-death experience, but every moment we're dying to the old, dying to maybe our comfort zone or what feels safe, and unconsciously we remain contracted, and it's time to die to our old self and embrace the new, even though it might be scary, even though we might have not, even though we might not have a clue about where we're going. Embrace that death. It's a beautiful death. It's a blessing. It's your chance to be reborn and rediscover who you truly are. What you came here to give. What's your purpose from moment to moment? It's not like you have to know your mission or something. Moment to moment, how can you be a bit more open to love? to sharing this consciousness, this beauty. How can we see the world through the eyes of gratitude, through the eyes of love? So if you're ever near death, which we all are, all the time, embrace it, love it, speak to it, become more intimate with death, because I can say from a personal experience that death is our greatest teacher and it will blow your mind, it will expand your consciousness and remind you what truly matters. This life is a precious gift, let's not waste it, let's not take it for granted, let's use it, let's enjoy it, let's celebrate it as the beautiful, wonderful, crazy, mysterious ride it is. Wherever you are, I'm sending you all my love, wishing you a beautiful day. Stay peaceful, grateful and enjoy this beautiful Life. <laughs> ciao, ciao.